Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Love Island The Game 2, X in the Villa. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I just want to give a shout out to... Um, I need to start, you know, remembering you guys' names. But someone commented under my video. I think it was the previous video. Someone commented talking about if I ever did merch. Um, they could see me doing merch with shirts that say subscribe, 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 and all right. So now every time I say it, that's that's what I think about. So yeah, shout out to you for that comment. And you never know. Maybe later on down the line I will do that. <laughs> we will see. But um it will be thanks to you if that does happen. So yeah. Anyways, previously on episode 23, no, 24, my fault, episode 24, we had that truth or dare challenge or game, and it was a hot mess, you know? Finn decided to do some Finn stuff, and he got Kat all upset, and because she's upset, she decided to drop the bag on that conversation me and Suresh had, even though the conversation wasn't nothing. And then at the end of the episode, we caught Kat and Alfie kissing on the roof terrace. Like, what? So this is gonna be the aftermath of that. So I don't even know, man. I'm feeling some type of way, like. So let's just jump right on into it. <laughs> Love Island, the game two, X in the villa. Episode 25. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Episode 25, The Ultimate Test. A twist in the tail cuts your grafting short. So, Kat caught Jasmine and Suresh in a compromising position, who were quickly upstaged when Finn snogged Arlo in front of Kat during Truth or Dare. Kat held the morale high ground for 0.7 seconds before she outed Jasmine's secret and retaliated by cracking on with Alfie. Jasmine caught them at it and now there's more beef than a Texas cattle ranch. And with Villa Alliances now at breaking point, we better get back to the action. You stumble into the bedroom, slamming the terrace door behind you. Your head spins from what you've just seen. Whoa, you look like you've seen a ghost, Jasmine. I've just seen Kat and Alfie. Cool, they're on the terrace? Snogging each other's faces off? Yeah, right, you can't kid a kid or kid. Nice try, though. I'm being serious, Finn. Like, Alf or Kat would do that to me, especially after my grand gesture last night. The terrace door bursts open and Alfie rushes after you, guilt all over his face. It's not what it looks like, Jasmine. It's exactly what it looked like. It just happened, I'm really sorry. Aha, uh -huh. you're in on this prank too, Alf? Nice work, but I know a setup when I see one. Alfie stares at you and Finn, guilt-stricken. I'm really sorry to you both. Wow, you're really committing to this, eh? I thought I was the villa prank king. This ain't a wind-up geezer. You and Kat? Really? After everything? Alfie doesn't know what to say. Alf, you even put some of Kat's lipstick on to look extra convincing. Tip of the hat. This isn't a prank, Finn. Do I look like I'm joking? Does Alfie look like he's joking? Alfie sheepishly wipes Kat's lipstick from his lips, cringing as he looks at you both. You're trying to tell me this isn't a prank? I wish it was, mate. It all happened so fast. We were talking one minute and the next. You were snogging cat. No way. I'm really sorry. Wow. I don't know what to say. Didn't see this happening in a million years. Jasmine, did you see this coming? I didn't predict this. This is the last thing I expected to happen. Join the club. Has everything you've told me has been a has everything you've told me been a lie, Alfie? 
course it hasn't. You mean more to me than anyone else here. Except Kat. Let me explain myself. Go on then. Jasmine, I was hurt after finding out about you and Suresh. You don't even know what happened. Please, just let me try to explain. I felt betrayed. We had that unforgettable night under the stars together. And then I find out about you and him in front of everyone. You must know how that felt after what happened with my ex. If anyone understands that, it's me. Yeah, well, you know that my head was all over the place. Cats too, after what you did, Finn. Kissing Arlo, that was a dare. You snogged her because you wanted to. Same with how you've been flirting with her. That was just shooting the breeze. I wouldn't have taken it further. You did take it further in front of everyone. That wasn't a game. It doesn't count. It counted to Kat. We both felt betrayed. That's why we were up here talking in the first place. Jasmine, you know I haven't caught proper feelings for anyone since my ex. And now you do this. I didn't do anything. I turned Suresh down. That's not what Kat said. So you trust Kat over me? Right, now I do. Yeah. So someone tells you I did something, so you immediately crack on with Kat? She cracked on with me, but whatever. Kat initiated the kiss? Yeah. Uh, don't think so, babe. You kissed me. Kat shoots Alfie a leveling glance from the terrace doorway. Are you serious? Deadly. What is going on? So, who initiated it then? He did. She did. Jasmine, you saw it. Who initiated it? Arlo walks into the bedroom to see the action. I didn't see the start, just caught them at it. Neither was exactly holding back. You didn't have to kiss him back, did you, Kat? You didn't have to kiss Arlo, did you? I'm staying out of this. Bit late for that, babe. Jasmine, tell me you believe I didn't initiate it. I don't know what to believe. How am I supposed to know who to believe right now? Me, I'm not a liar. Think she meant that rhetorically, Kat Hun. You can explain what that means later. Maybe stay out of it for now, though. Just trying to lighten the mood. Where's Dana when you need her? You kissed each other. That's what matters. What matters is you cracking on with that cheating ex of yours. Here's what happened. Save me the details. You told your side I can't tell mine? Just can't stomach hearing about it now. And I can't be around you right now, Jasmine. Alfie storms out of the bedroom. Arlo follows him out. So how was that fair? Yo, I hate when that happens because that happens in real life too. Somebody could sit there and give their side of the story, explain things, all that stuff. But then when it comes time for your turn, for you to explain, for you to, you know, give your reasoning or whatever, they don't want to hear it. So you believe Alfie over me then, Finn? I don't know what to believe right now, but like Jasmine says, either way, you snog my best mate. I wouldn't listen to Jasmine. She's to blame for all this. How do you work that out? If you hadn't dared Finn, he wouldn't have kissed Arlo. I wouldn't have revealed your Suresh flirt sesh. Alfie wouldn't have got upset. I wouldn't have consoled him. And we wouldn't have ended up necking. So Finn's not to blame then? He's very much to blame, and I ain't done grilling him yet. Well, I'm not done grilling you either. Just technically, Jasmine, you started all this. I'm blaming Kat. You started all this in truth or dare, Kat. You said you'd keep it between us. My usual discretion levels got rage trumped when he necked Arla. Usual discretion levels? You cheated on me with my best mate. You cheated on me first, babe. It was a dare. It wasn't some clandestine snog like yours. Clandy what now? I'm done talking to you for now, Kat. Finn storms out into the bedroom. I'm done talking to you too. Wait, Finn. Kat storms after Finn. You're left alone, noticing the sudden silence as you try to work out where this all leaves you. 
You sit alone on the terrace trying to compose your thoughts, but the image of the kiss keeps returning. The door opens and Suresh joins you on the terrace, his expression unreadable. Wow, sounded like that escalated quick. Are you okay? Stupid question. I know you can't be okay right now. That was a lot. Don't know where to start with it all. Assuming it brought back some stuff between us too. I am sorry if what I did is still affecting you. You know that was the main reason I came to the villa? What was? I thought you might still be struggling to move on from what we had together. Why did you think that? Because that's how I felt. I tried and failed to move on from you, but I needed closure. And knowing you like I do, I was sure you'd feel the same. I came here to give you that closure. I plan to apologize, answer any questions you had, and try to make it right. Then I was going to go home and leave you to move on. But what happened? I looked into your eyes again, and I knew straight away I couldn't give up on you. I had to stay and take a shot at winning you back. And why are you only telling me all this now? I don't know. Feels like now's the time to put all my cards on the table. Because now things are shaky with me and Alfie? Not gonna lie, that's part of it, and I can't really talk after what I did. But things were really good for a long time before we went off track. You've been coupled up with Alfie for a couple of days. You shouldn't be having these problems yet. None of this would have happened if you weren't cracking on with me. Do you really want to be with someone who slips up at the first sign of trouble? Isn't that what you did with me? We were together for a lot longer. And we went through a lot more than you have with anyone in here. That might be true. Do you think you'll be able to get past Alfie kissing Kat? I don't know yet. I just don't know how I feel yet. It's all too raw and all happened so quickly. Yeah, I get that. Your head must be all over the place. That's why I came up to check on you. Suresh leans back and looks at the Islanders unpacking the drama in hushed tones in the garden below. You know that none of this drama would be happening if we just got back together? Is that so? I think so, and I'm not sure if you're ready, but I am. Ready for what? To move past everything. My mistakes, your mistakes, our past. I've lived with and without you, and being without you doesn't even compare. I want the fun life we used to share. I know now that you're the only girl for me. What about Arlo? Arlo's great, but she isn't you, and we don't have what me and you have. That was obvious on our double date last night. I could only think about you. And I can promise you that I wouldn't make the same mistake again. I don't think anyone else here can make that promise. Why is that? Because they haven't learned the lesson I've learned from losing you? I'm not asking for an answer now. Your head's scrambled. I know you've already told me what you think of me, but tonight might have changed everything for all of us. So I feel like I need to put it out there. But I need an answer tonight. You're giving me a deadline? It affects more than just us now, and we need to sort this ASAP. I know where my head's at. It's over to you now. Suresh flashes you a confident grin and goes back inside. Your head swims and you wonder where your decision will leave the villa tonight. You head into the garden and Finn urgently motions you to join him on the daybeds. Jasmine, I was waiting for you to come down. We really need to talk. About what? What do you think? Cat and Alfie, I still don't know who to believe. I need to talk it through and right now. And you're the only one who gets what I'm going through. Drama is flying in all directions, and it's about to get even more dramatic. How so? Well, I've got a massive decision to make, my biggest in the villa. About Kat? About you, Jasmine? What do you mean? Join me for a chat, and I'll tell you. I can't say no to that. Sounds like we need to talk right now. Finn takes a conspiratorial look around the garden, checking no one is in earshot. Come join me, Jasmine. You sit next to Finn on the daybeds and notice this is the most serious you've seen him. So, what do you want to talk to me about, Finn? 
Well, my head's spinning like one of them fairground waltzer thingies. I can't get the image of Cat and Alfie out of my head. Still not sure, I believe it really happened. I can confirm it definitely did happen. I guess I always had some little doubts about Cat, but Alfie? I thought there was more chance of me being a brain surgeon than him moving on Cat. You think he initiated it then? I don't know. They were both upset. Either one could have acted out. But I thought Kat was all in with me. Maybe I didn't know her as well as I thought. It's got my little Finn brain all confused about what I want. Confused if you want Kat or Arlo? I came to a different conclusion. But first, I need to know if you still want to be with Alfie. I haven't got the foggiest. I don't have a clue where my head's at right now. So much drama tonight. Wait till you hear where my head's at. So, where's your head at then, Finn? I keep thinking about how different this would all be. How do you mean? If I'd coupled up with you when I had the chance. Really? I guess me and you going through this together has me questioning things. I should be thinking about Kat right now, but I keep thinking about you, Jasmine. And all the little moments we've had together so far. Like what? How you were my first choice for the date, how our chat flowed like the river lip, like the river Liffy, how we shared a lovely kiss together, how I've been sucked into your sublime green eyes every time we've talked, that electric first kiss we had and how outrageously soft your lips felt, that connection that's always drawn me to you, but you were drawn to Cat more. I felt more sexual chemistry with Cat. But maybe I was just thinking with my little chap downstairs. You call your uh, equipment the little chap downstairs? Well, I sometimes call him Finn Minor or Finny Me or Brian when he's been naughty. I thought you were being serious for a minute there. Sorry, I was. Let me get this back on track. I've always been able to say things to you that I haven't with Cat. Maybe that's because we have a deeper connection. I know I'm always joking and flirting around, but I am here to find something serious. Someone who can have the crepe with my boys, but also hit it off with my ma and dad. And all my brothers. All your brothers? How many have you got? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I've got five older brothers, and they're all just as daft and reckless as me. Wow, your parents must have had a hard time keeping you all in line. They gave up on that years ago. But my fam does mean the world to me. And when I've got a big decision to make, I always get advice from my mom and dad. Not your brothers? Not since they got me to go to my grad ceremony in just my cap and gown. True story. Bet that was quite a sight. My mom and dad gave me the telling off of all telling offs after that. Well, what would they say to you now? They tell me off about my flirty hijinks and truth or dare. Then my mom would make me promise to stop showing off and being so cocky. And then they both tell me I should try to give things a go with you. And do you usually take your parents' advice? I think it might be time I started to. You're the rose of Trey Lee after all. Finn looks at you with big puppy dog eyes and a tender smile. I know my timing's dreadful, but I feel like I need to make a quick decision on all this. He looks into your eyes like he wants to kiss you, but hesitates. But I'd love you to give me a shot. You hear raised voices across the garden where the girls have an animated discussion. Arlo rushes over to you. Jasmine, we need you over here right now. We're having a serious chat here. Well, not as serious as ours. Trust me, Jasmine, come on, let's go. Dana waves you over to join them across the pool. Looks like you're needed over there, Jasmine. Let's finish this off later. Finn walks away towards the villa, casting you an enig enigmatic glance back. Arlo leads you towards Dana and Kat, who watch you approach intensely. You and Arlo join Dana and Kat by the pool and all stand awkwardly silent. Jasmine, thanks for joining the most awkward social scenario I've ever been in. And that's considering my outrageous social awkwardness. Yeah, this is all tense, isn't it? 
and we need to squash this beef. I didn't come to the villa to not have a laugh. Should have thought about that before cracking on with my fella. Come on, hon, he kissed me. Can't blame me for kissing him back. Can and will, babe. We've all kissed each other in challenges, but they've been flirting for the last few days. I've only been here a few days. I'm gonna get my flirt on and see who I click with. Thought you did that already and clicked with Suresh. Yeah, and he's been my number one, but I wasn't ready to rule out other options yet. And I'm glad I didn't since Jasmine and Suresh were secretly cracking on. You didn't even see what happened, Arlo. I saw it all though. No offense, Kat, but you're the least reliable witness ever. And why is that? Come on, Kat, you know I love you. You're like my most unlikely friend ever. Er, uh, thanks? But you love the drama, and you sometimes get a tad carried away when you sniff some goss. Babe, I could have sniffed this goss from Basildon. Suresh and Jasmine were all over each other. You really think you're in a position to stoke the fire, Kat? Forget Kat for a second, Jasmine. I want to know the truth here. What actually happened between you and Suresh? Tell the truth. Suresh wanted to kiss me, but I turned him down. Really? Yes, that's what you walked in on, Kat. And like Dana says, maybe you got carried away. Or she lied about it. I ain't no liar. Or maybe Jasmine is lying about it. Jasmine isn't a liar. Well, something's not adding up here. Guess I'll be having a chat with Suresh about where his head's at. Should, should have one with Finn too while I'm at it. You remember Finn's coupled up with me, yeah? You remember snogging his best mate, yeah? He snogged me, but whatevs. Girls, let's bring this down a notch. Fine. Fine. Everyone calms slightly. Kat looks at you a little awkwardly. Guessing you've got some questions for me, Jasmine. Why did you kiss Alfie? Time you told me exactly why you kissed Alfie, isn't it? Yeah, you were never even that into him when you were coupled up with him. Was it just a revenge kiss for Finn kissing me? Well, I've always thought Alfie was cute, but he's no Finn. Total plank that Finn is. You haven't answered the question. I felt royally pied off, Alfie even more. He opened up about loads of stuff to me. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a sob story. Your baggage with Suresh is affecting everyone now and you need to make a call. And the only person not affected by all this is Dana right now. You notice that Dana looks a little upset. We'll be back in a few girls. Dana hurriedly leaves and heads into the villa. Cat's right, it's time to lay your cards on the table, Jasmine. You need to settle this stuff once and for all. I did, like, multiple times. I kept telling y'all I don't want Suresh, like. <laughs> your mind buzzes with uncertainty and confusion, but you know you need to do this. The hell is that smell? Smell like somebody passed gas. Was that you? My goodness. <laughs> Arlo takes you to one side and whispers so only you two can hear. I saw you chatting to Finn earlier. Looked cozy. Maybe he's the one you'd rather be talking to. But you need to resolve this situation first. So, who are you going to clear the air with, Jasmine? I want to go to Alfie, like, I need to talk to Alfie. I've already talked to Suresh. But I do need to tell Suresh that he needs to stop, so I'm going to go talk to Suresh. Get this over with. I'll go and talk to Suresh. Drama! Guess you need to find him then. You take a deep breath before walking towards the villa to have a chat that you know will have a major impact on your time in the villa. After another deep breath, you thrust open the bedroom door and step in. But no one is there. The villa is eerily silent. Your phone pings. Dana rushes into the bedroom from the bathroom. Read it out, Jasmine. Girls, the boys have headed off to Casa Moore and some sexy singletons are now heading your way. 
Hashtag head to Wu-Tang. Hashtag Casa Remorse. This is not good. This is not good at all. Like, I didn't even get to talk to Alfie. I didn't even get to talk to Suresh. Now they're off to Casa more. <sighs> you lock eyes with Dana and stare at each other in shock. Casa Amor's back, the only place where heads turn more than an owl watching tennis. But which of the girl, excuse me, but which of the girls are gonna hit it off with the newbies coming into the villa? Which couples will stay on track and which will crack? And who will be no more after Casa Amor? Find out next time on Love Island. All right, so that was episode 25. That was a lot. Like, I don't, I really don't even know how to feel about this Alfie and Kat situation. Like, um, I'm really hurt that Alfie did what he did. And then he want to sit there and talk about, oh, you know what I've been through with my ex. So you know how I felt. Like, dude, I got cheated on too. And like, I mean, come on. That didn't make no sense. That was dumb. I'm sorry, but... There's no justification or excuse for what you did. Like, there's none. Your excuse, oh, you was talking to Suresh. So what? You don't even know the full story. You go kissing people. Like, and then Suresh coming to me once again, airing out everything. Like, and then now they're at Casa Moore. Like, <sighs> this is not good because I don't know where Alfie's head is at right now. And, I don't know. So yeah, that was Love Island the Game 2, X in the Villa, episode 25. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.